Observe the following image carefully, the clinical image of uh, amalgam restorations, left side restoration as well as right side restoration. However, on the left side, you see there is marginal breakdown, in fact, severe marginal breakdown. So why is it happening? And why not in case of right-sided restoration? So first and foremost, creep is time-dependent plastic deformation as per Phillips. So creep occurs when a solid material slowly deforms plastically under the influence of various stresses. So creep rate has been found to correlate with marginal breakdown of conventional low copper amalgams. This is very, very important. When you compare low copper amalgams and high copper amalgams, creep is mostly seen. The chances of creep are high in case of low copper amalgam. It's because of the fact that anyways, we'll go in detail, but it's, to simply put, it's because of gamma 2 phase that is present in low copper in abundant quantity, which will lead to increased creep rate. Whereas in high copper alloys, what happens is, this gamma 2 is eventually replaced by eta, which kind of acts as a barrier to this creep, to this time-dependent plastic deformation. We'll analyze that uh, in a brief while. So, as mentioned here, creep rate has been found to correlate with marginal breakdown of conventional low copper amalgams. That is, the higher the amount of creep, the greater is the degree of marginal deterioration. And creep causes the amalgam to flow over time such that the unsupported amalgam protrudes at the margin of the restoration, as you can see in the left sided amalgam restoration in the image. And because of the low tensile strength of the amalgam, along with the propensity for corrosion of low copper alloys because of gamma 2 phase, a ditch is formed around the restoration along the margin, right? And most importantly, when amalgam creeps, it's a gamma 1 phase that deforms plastically, whereas gamma 2, as we discussed previously, is responsible for increased creep rate. However, in case of high copper amalgam alloys, this gamma 2 phase is eventually replaced by eta phase. You know the reactions which we discussed on YouTube previously. And this eta phase acts as a barrier for deformation of gamma 1 phase. Very, very important. And that's the reason why the creep rate is less in case of high copper amalgam alloys. So now coming to the clinical image again, the left one is made of low copper amalgam, whereas the right one is made of high copper amalgam. That's the reason why you see this marginal breakdown only in the left-sided image.